this highlighted is our SQL setup file. We're going to double click on the setup file and start the installation. This will initiate the extraction process. Now you should be prompted for permission here. Click on yes to continue. Now in the new installation window, please select new install. Please accept the license and terms. Check the box. Hit next. In the next selection window, the feature selection, please leave the boxes as it is and hit on next. Now in this window where you need to select an instance, select default instance. And then hit next. Hit next in the following window. In this window, you will be prompted to select an authentication mode. We're going to select mixed mode here and we'll set a unique password. For our demo purpose, we'll be entering the password policies star 123 with the P capital. Now, in this window where you need to send error reports, leave the box unchecked and hit next. The installation will start now. And now the installation has been completed. Now that we have completed our SQL installation, we'll start our policies ERP installation. For that, go to the location of the setup files. You should be able to find policies ERP 7.5. Double click on the policies ERP 7.5 to start the installation and uh, in the next window hit on next and in the option to choose the drive letter path please replace the C drive letter with the D drive and leave the path as it is hit on next okay this following window will prompt you to create a desktop icon for your program we'll leave it unchecked and hit next we're going to select it from the program folders and our ePolicies ERP 7.5 installation has been completed. We're going to check the program folders, the D drive location. We have our Policies ERP 7.5 executable here in this location. However, this is an outdated version. We are going to update it with a new version. We're going to extract the RAR file and copy all those items and we're going to paste it in the program files policies technologies policies ERP 7.5 location it will prompt you to whether you want to replace the files hit uh, replace the existing files now we have our new updated pulses ERP 7.5 executable here you can create a desktop icon from here and there we go we have the program installed now we have completed our SQL installation and as well as a ERP 7.5 installation